All right, welcome back to my channel, Survive and Thrive. And today I'm going to talk about a stock company that I haven't talked about in a few months. That company is Planet 13, ticker symbol PLNHF. And I wanted to just go over the latest news and developments and talk about where they may be headed. This article in Motley Fool, two growth stocks with more upside than Shiba Inu, now, Shiba Inu is a crypto project that I do have holdings in, and I've talked about that a few times here on my YouTube channel. But taking a look at the key points, one of the companies that's mentioned in this article is Planet 13 Holdings. And as it states here, they navigated the pandemic fairly well, and the company's business will return to full health in the future. So jumping down to the details, Nevada-based Planet 13 Holdings looks like a risky bet. The company's shares have dropped in the past year and are currently at $2 a piece as of this writing, which is penny stock territory. It's always important to be careful when investing in stocks, but it is even more so with companies in which the market seems to have little faith. Still, there are reasons to be very optimistic about Planet 13 Holdings. And I am a large holder in this company with the number of shares that I have. And every time that I do see them take a market correction, I buy the dip. But I also am looking at this as a very long-term investment, even if it takes me seven to 10 years or more. First, the company's performance on the market is as much due to industry-wide worries as it is to its own financial results. Planet 13 holding stock has fallen in the past 12 months along with the Horizons Marijuana Life Science Index ETF, which is an industry benchmark. So you can see a significant downside to this share and the industry as a whole. They've done a decent job through the pandemic with foot traffic to its stores. The company's business also rebounded nicely as many government imposed measures to stop the spread subsided and vaccines became widely available. In the three months ending September 30th, the company's revenue soared by 45% year over year to 33 million. It is worth noting that Planet 13 Holdings year over year revenue growth rates have been dropping while margins have been squeezed as well. Here is why the company could reasonably address these issues. First, the marijuana sector has a bright future in North America. According to some estimates, the industry will expand at a compound annual growth rate of 16.6% through 2028. Second, Planet 13 Holdings has managed to differentiate itself from its competitors, giving it the ability to be one of the winners in the cannabis market in the coming years. The company's superstores offer a whole experience to customers who can grab a bite to eat, shop for souvenirs, and witness the company's cannabis production process. Planet 13 Holdings' first superstore is strategically located in the heart of the Las Vegas Strip, for those of you that don't know, and the company opened a second one in another touristy location in California last year. And I've referred to this before from articles that I've read, but this is a business plan that is being looked at as the Cabela's of cannabis, and if this does work out, it's going to spell big revenue and dollars and return on investment for those who get in early. Planet 13 Holdings expenses have increased following the opening of its superstore in Florida, but the company has not gotten its return on investment so far. That's due in large part to low tourist activity in the state, driven by the continued impacts of the pandemic. As the outbreak subsides, expect things to pick up in the company's California superstore, Meanwhile, Planet 13 Holdings plans to open more of these in major cities in the next half decade. Third, the company has expanded its presence elsewhere. For instance, it acquired a cannabis license in Florida late last year where it plans to open a network of neighborhood stores. While Planet 13 Holdings remains unprofitable, expect the company's revenue to continue growing, especially as the pandemic subsides and the company takes advantage of the new opportunities at its disposal as it should. That, coupled with its unique business model among its peers, will be instrumental in helping it show green on the bottom line eventually. And so that is what you have to look at 
is the bigger picture. And I do think that they can deliver. They are in a fairly good position from cash flow perspective, but they are expanding. So that's why they are not going to show a profit for some time. An article I just read the other day in the New York Times, House votes to decriminalize cannabis. Democrats, with some Republican support, voted 220 to 204 to remove marijuana from the federal list of controlled substances, moving to catch up to the states. So when you start reading news like this, you can start to see that it is starting to move in the right direction for the cannabis industry, and it is only a matter of time before cannabis is approved on the federal level. And that's going to spell big things, especially for a company like Planet 13, because they are an MSO or multi-state operator. And so it gives them opportunities across the country. And they may even start looking globally. The House passed legislation on Friday to decriminalize marijuana at the federal level as Democrats and three Republicans banded together to capitalize on the political resonance of legalized cannabis as an issue of economic growth, racial justice, and states' rights. The Democrats' bill would remove marijuana from the federal government's list of controlled substances, impose an 8% tax on cannabis products, allow some convictions on cannabis charges to be expunged, and press for sentencing reviews at the federal and state levels. It would also make small business administration loans and services available to cannabis businesses while setting standards for them. So what I take out of this is that there is opportunity for business to happen, expanding within the economy, and bringing in a lot more revenue for this industry. I did find this street article. Cannabis player Planet 13 has big expansion plans. And this is big news. I had not known about this, but it just goes to show you how quickly they are moving with their business plan and making good on their vision. Planet 13 is based in Nevada, like we talked about, where they have their first superstore. And they also have the one in California. And I've talked about this before. They also have plans to open another in Chicago, as well as expansion plans for a state in the South. Cannabis multi-state operators are the sleeping giants of the cannabis industry. Since marijuana is still illegal, on the federal level, U.S. companies that operate in multiple states are currently as big as it gets in the cannabis industry. One of the biggest issues with operating as an MSO is dealing with the different regulations that are in place in each state. Without a federal legal framework, businesses need lawyers to make sure they are in compliance with each state's unique laws and statutes. But the benefits of spreading your brand to a new locale outweighs the cons of the extra red tape companies may have to deal with. And Planet 13 is one of those MSOs looking to spread its wings. They will be opening a dispensary in Orange Park, a suburb of Jacksonville, Florida. And as I continue to read through this article, you will see why I'm getting so excited about this because there's just more and more positive news out of this. We've been heads down working hard on our Florida expansion. We are progressing well on locating and working on both cultivation and retail under a dual track plan to bring both online at the same time, said Bob Grosbeck, co-CEO of Planet 13. This is the first signed lease of our initial sixth plan neighborhood style stores, all focused on major population centers and heavily trafficked retail locations. And this new dispensary will be located next to a Walmart superstore, giving it maximum visibility. And so very good plan carrying out their vision of expansion. And you can see they've done a lot of homework. So they also do have their license in Chicago where they plan to open that other superstore. And that's going to be positioned somewhere in the greater downtown area. Planet 13 has an 11.1% market share in its home state of Nevada, according to the company. And so that's really what I wanted to touch on today is that, boom, here we go again. They've hit another dispensary that they can open in a major state and a very good location. And they are continuing to just do that through this year and for the next five to 10 years. 
And so as they continue to expand, the rules start to go in their favor. You're going to see big things coming. And then that's when the huge investors are going to really get behind this. But you need to be able to be in a position to take advantage. And so definitely do your own research. Don't just listen to me and think that you're going to make millions of dollars. But this is one of those companies for me personally that I think you can make a substantial gain in wealth. And you just need to look at the history. So you can see it's up almost 3% in the last day. Five days, about the same. And then it gets worse from there. So in the last month, down almost 7%. 42% in the past six months. So that's why I think that this is a great time to buy in if it's one that you're considering. Almost 16% year to date. But here's what you really need to pay attention to is that big picture, like I said. The long time scale over five years shows a 295% increase. And so that's where you wanna base your approach on is getting in early and then looking for those dips and opportunities to maximize your holding or number of shares. That's really what I had to cover today on Planet 13. Just wanted to give a quick update. Leave comments below. Definitely share in the information as far as what's happening in the cannabis industry. And until next time, don't just survive, thrive!